generic greetings and welcome back once again to Sheltered 2, today's beverages. A nice traditional cup of tea and previously I didn't even mention a beverage in the other episode. But what we did do in the other episode is uh, get unstuck and then get invaded. Uh, <laughs> pretty much in that order. And yeah, they took some stuff from our pantry. Combat it can be initiated, I have since found out, by moving characters over there. Uh, you do have to double click to move them and then you get combat stuff. But uh, yeah, you don't know until you know and hopefully we can solve that for the next time. Not the end of the world but also not ideal. Let's go ahead and check out a expedition, I think. And I think most people would not be up for going. In fact, we could send actually three people out. So that's probably what we're going to do. Um, although, maybe our cells will stay back just because we should really heal up. So Martha will take the children's backpack as well as... Can we use a baseball bat? No, you need strength six in order to do that. Their strength is four. Can we use a knife then? A kniff requires strength four. So we can use a knife. I am not taking... Taking the hammer because, well, that is useful for us. And Lisa, they are also, are oh, they actually at strength two, so not very good at all. But uh, we'll give them a very nice knuckle duster. And then we've got a child's backpack, and that gives us a max weight of 215. So up from the 140 that we had previously, we have not yet searched out entirely this area. So we're going to go over there and then have a little ex a little look around as well, a little bit of an explore. And let's go to next and watch them crack on. We want to, if we can, uh, obviously craft some more items. In terms of crafting, what would be ideal? Well, certainly a makeshift laboratory would be good. I also... Nice pendant line as well. Uh, would probably like to make another... Oh, we've got... We've got a bed and a cot. I mean, another bed would probably be a good idea. Although, we're very close to being able to make another wind turbine. Would that be desirable? Another wind turbine would be okay. Um, not really too sure. Actually, what I do want to do is repair equipment, and I need leather and nylon for these satchels. Can I recycle them, then? I cannot recycle them. Um, let's collect items from the recycler, actually. There we go. Or can we just use that? Just go to recycle. No, looks like I can't. But I'm going to put the pan in there. And I'm not going to bother with the bullets. And just click recycle. I assume that uses energy. Yes, it does. It requires two kilowatts of energy. Fuel is currently alright though. For Deborah here, who is very close to becoming loyal, around 92 of 100, um, should be alright. I want to actually uh, rest in this bed to try and get uh, Derek's health up. They're currently on 103 of 140, so getting that health up would be certainly a desirable thing. And let's see if resting... Yeah, resting does. You can see the health just is increasing there. They don't actually need any uh, sleep. <laughs> so, you know, that's why they've never actually be lie, laid down and um, increased their stats there. And I've just realised that that thing is... Oh, it's on, it's on 18 of 30. I was going to say, is that 18 of 100? No, it's not. Uh, these are about half. So... Yeah, we're not too bad there. Just a bit of cleaning, and seems to be that Deborah is tired. What I should probably do with Derek is say rest over there. Um, oh, that's that's not very good. So disturbed during healing is oh minus ten for their mood. Um, hang on, no, you don't go there. You go to rest over there, and then Deborah, you sleep in the better bed. That's what we want. So yeah, we desires, no not desires, mood is cold in the dark and disturbed during healing, which is not ideal. It's currently 11 degrees in there. The one next to it is 12. It seems that the size of the room obviously matters for heating as it should, but yeah. This just the 13 degrees. It's hotter than the place that has the halogen heater. I fail to agree. <laughs> I fail to agree. Uh, yeah. Either way, uh, we're going to go for some uh, watering of the plants up here because they are dry. We'll max speed that out while they'll go ahead and do that. I don't know if there's anything we can do to uh, improve the shelter in any particular way. Just yet. Let me do that. And Oh, we have an encounter. So, investigate. This is another encounter in grass. We've had this previously. Um, it was with some traders. Hello, who are you? Are you a trader, recruiter, or are you after something else? I will walk away. We don't want to trade. 
well, actually, we do want to trade. We just don't have anything to trade. We have rain on the surface. Oh, it's black rain, though. Right, get back inside. Pronto. So, black rain. This is irradiated, essentially, as far as I'm aware. So, or is it, is it acid rain? Will it kill the crops? I really don't have any idea. But what I do know is that I don't want our character <laughs> out in it. So, yeah, there you are. Um, there's nothing we can craft. Uh... In terms of food wise so we'll just let them crack on and eat a nice little meal there we've got our wooden board back there i don't know if we can change the the look of it probably eventually we can but increasing the strength of the characters is certainly a priority uh, a trader has arrived let's have a quick look at the trader trader items here they've got all manner of things we're going to take probably the rusty frying pan we will take the cement we'll take the probably the wool and some of the rope and maybe even some of this other stuff up here just because we can just you know hopefully trade over some stuff we've got some animal fat we've got some gold chains yeah gold scrap i'm gonna trade over a couple of knuckle dusters because we don't really use them all and um bullets as well now it might be a bad thing to trade over. Satchels as well. I do want to repair them. No, I think we're on child's backpacks these days. Um, probably take some more stuff. What's that? Silver scrap. Put all the silver scrap in. And silicone. R rock. Trade over some of that and then some zinc ninety nine percent trade yes he agreed with the proposal good um let's go ahead and recycle then so we want to collect items take all and then recycle and then all of this scrap look at the leather we're getting off them as well do we need three baseball bats? We probably could, probably could have traded those over. Uh, and I think that's that's good recycling. Get rid of a couple of those buckets and recycle. That's going to take some amount of time. Craft item then. We don't need to make more room. We've got an indoor planter. We've got an armory. We've got a stone room. Upgrade from dirt room is not the prettiest, but certainly easier to keep clean. Yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, spike trap. Quite desirable. But don't know when we're going to have the next break in. And a camping st camping stove. No. Makeshift laboratory. We need metal for that one. Let's go ahead and craft item. And we've got loads of metal shavings. So we could probably craft metal. Yeah. What about tier 2? Binoculars. We need we need a lens. Let's go for a lens. What do binoculars give you? Actually, as a bonus, reveal more fog of war as the party travels. That's something I want. I'll confirm and build that. And I think there's a desire. Uh, yeah, explore with binoculars. That's our main character. They really really want to explore with binoculars. Um, let's repair the punch bag and then uh, <laughs> damage the punch bag essentially uh, by <laughs> by attacking it. Uh, Deborah's fixed the light punching bag and now she's going to uh, slowly disassemble it manually. Let's go ahead and craft an item, tier 2, craft binoculars, binoculars to be crafted, there we go. And then also craft item, tier 2, a laboratory to make drugs, which can go in the corner there. Oh. The trade is still here. Um, can you hear the hissing noise? It's not a nice noise. Okay, let's have a quick look. View items. Take all. We're only halfway full. Confirm. I'm going to change route and go to there. And it is a dangerous route. But only 15% for every time we go there. So let's just have a little scout around and see what we can find. I can't imagine that trader is going to be trading much if she's just standing there um, doing that. I mean, we do have baseball bats. Why don't we hand back a baseball bat? And take like a computer or something. And well, hinge? No. 
uh, bark. Doesn't say what the, it is. It's crafting ingredient. Oh, peas. We'll trade over peas because they're about to expire. So we'll trade that over. And... I don't think we need to trade over the wood. Some duct tape there. Whoa, duct tape's worth loads. As it should be. And bottled water. Yeah. Some plastic. 16%, 33%, 50%, 66. Agreed the deal. And, oh, look at that. Bartering. Traders offered additional trade value per item. Good. That's what we want. Um, probably need to repair these outside. But we'll see. Certainly not going outside to do it now. Yeah, it might be acidic. It does sound acidic. I don't know if it's radioactive. What if it's both? That's even worse. <laughs> Almost finished crafting over here. And we've finished... Oh, coming to this location. There is some grass plains. Uh, outpost by Los Mertos. I'm going to head over there. I'm looking for some more. I'm trying to explore, basically. And come back with some more items. Looks like the makeshift laboratory is in. And you can craft... Oh, look at that. Homemade anti-radiation tablet, antibiotic, etc. And what's this one that says mix? So... You can mix things together. So, yellow jasmine and... And honey. Hmm. Name, swill. Name, crunk. Hmm. Okay. So here's some stuff that you can make. Is it undiscovered? Yeah, you can you can make all manner of substances. But you have to mix stuff together to figure it out. So if we mix that with mix bark with yellow jasmine and passion flower, let let's just see what happens. <laughs> we'll see what concoction we uh, knock up with that one. It is day 14, spring, uh, 6 degrees, whereas inside the shelter it's a little bit warmer downstairs. We have an encounter here. Oh, there's a, there's a, sadly, an outpost. Let's investigate here. This is the uh, new order. Not wise to stop a new order patrol. Do you need something? I'm going to try and flee, attempting escape, and it is successful. Only 65% chance to escape, but at least it was successful. Um, I can see something there. Change route to there. Let's see if there's anything that we can find. Um, although there's a scrapyard there. Let's do that. Let's go there and then we'll head over to the scrapyard. Try that out. Looks like Deborah has leveled up in their strength. I'm going to go for upgrading for carrying capacity. And we'll let them crack on. Collect items from the recycler, which is now done. And I think a snare trap. Uh, don't really want to go outside to do it just yet. I think we'll wait. I think we will wait. Stone room. Oh, look at that. Much better, isn't it? Easy to keep clean. I think I'll do that. I think we'll actually start upgrading this to a stone room. I don't think we'll need a third level just yet anyway. Uh, need of attention over here. We've got... Look at that. That's a reservoir tank. Oh, so you can collect water. And there's... Reservoir workable. Oh, cool. So can you turn the reservoir on? The fun will be in finding out, but we're not finding out now. We'll come back to that if need be. 
end of week report. All the standings going down. I don't know why it does that. Because uh, it's not gone up or down. Yeah. Animal density increase and that's it. And other events that we don't know about. There you go. Two weeks in Shelter 2. Feels like two months. Oh, look at that. Hang on. Deborah, because their strength is now five, they picked up the heavy thing and then they're putting the heavy thing down. And then they're picking up the heavy thing and putting it down again. Rinse, repeat. Not wise to stop and patrol. Flee. Attempting escape. Failed. We are in combat. And they have a knife. They have knifs. Okay, and they're attacking. I tried to flee. Oh, critical on Martha. <gasps> That's bad. Oh, and apparently they get two attacks. Martha's dead. And with that, we've lost a character. I mean, admittedly, we didn't have a stab-proof vest on, but that was two attacks. Um, escape. We can't escape. Not enough stamina to perform this action. We can reduce stamina. I don't know why we're under the effects of weakened. Um, we can't do anything. I can't defend. I've only got three stamina. I literally have no option but to either attack or end turn and I want to escape so I need the stamina so I need to end turn to get stamina but are they just gonna they are just they are just going to attack yes um and there's two characters dead wow which also includes the two backpacks that we sent out plus the gear Oh, look at their strength. Their strength is seven. So I think the general rule is um, don't go wandering around people's territory, even though we actually have a quest to go wander into their territory to trade. So I don't know how we'd actually get over there without being stabbed to death. Hmm. Curious. Uh, yeah, that's Martha and Lisa. Rip. It actually doesn't even say for these characters. Like, there's no negative for them on their mood. Because how would they know? How would they know that they've perished? They just haven't come back yet. Eventually, we probably will get a, a thing about that. Pop-up. Um... Yeah, well, Deborah's now loyal. So they can send them out. But, I mean, why would we do that? Hmm. Put them up in a skill less likely to be dazed. Yeah, I mean, would the... I don't know what the best cost of action would be, really. I mean, admittedly, I didn't give the search party any, like, bulletproof vests or stab vest. But even if I had the best vest possible, melee damage reduction is only 30%. They critical us. They took almost two-thirds health off in one hit, and they had attacks before us, and we were weakened. I don't know what the weakened state is. Is it because they've got not enough rations? Uh, I have no idea. Probably say somewhere in the glossary. But, yeah. Not ideal. Suboptimal is certainly the term. Well, we're not going to run out of water and food as much, so every cloud and all that. <laughs> not really too sure what the other advantages are. We can craft another backpack. But, quite honestly, 
I'm not really too... Oh, plant's ready to harvest. Oh, there's someone coming along. Let's harvest that plant. Yeah, quite frankly, I'm not too sure where we go from here. Someone's coming down. And respond. I'm here to make your life easy. Let me join you and I'll help you become the best faction around. How about it? I mean, yeah. Welcome aboard, I guess. Um, we don't really have much choice. That's Robert. Robert's here. Their stats are... Well, oh, there's the broccoli. Let me just replant that. Plant broccoli seeds. Charisma and perception. Negative trade, messy. Positive trade, deep sleeper. Hmm. Yeah, counter chances 15%. We couldn't run away. I don't know what else I could have really done there. It's interesting, this uh, reservoir. I think it's just a case of you have to accept that you're going to go into combat at some point. Looks like that's died off. That one, I think. Well, that's Robert trying to plant seeds. No. Plant seeds with Derek. There we are. Okay, well. Craft item concrete. Limestone, no. We don't have the sand or cement. Or sand or limestone for cement. Which means we can't craft the... Stone room. And I can only really go out with two characters. One of them being my leader. But if we get into the same combat, it's game over. Some of your plants have died. Yeah. Okay. Well, we need to go out and search. We need to get items back. We would, however, have to craft an improved stab-proof vest. And I really don't want to send out our character. Because if that goes... If that happens, it's game over. <laughs> if we get into combat like that. We can't go out with Robert, which means we're sending out Deborah alone, which means that if she gets into a scrape, then it's all kinds of bad. The only way to improve that would be to... Well, we'll give them binoculars, which is good. Uh, we'll reveal more fog of war, but that won't help with combat. There is, however, a... Yes, camouflage. It reduced the chance of encountering other people by 25%. All members must wear it. So we could get camouflage. I think that's where I may have gone wrong. Possibly. But, I am going to leave it there for Shelter 2 and indeed for this series. Made some mistakes and encountered twice as many bugs. I think it would be more desirable to leave it for now, call it time on this series, understand what we've learned, what we've been through, and give it a little bit more time in the oven. There's been, I say, a couple of bugs. Some of them, well, were game-breaking until patched out. At least they were patched out. That's the positive thing, I will say. But I think with what's gone on here, it's recoverable. I don't think it's something that's, like, you know, that's critical. We'll never, we'll never go anywhere from here again. But is it worth it? The time it'll take to build back up is going to be a lot. Whereas next time, I'd probably be more cautious with that. And I'd probably build things in slightly different orders. And hopefully wouldn't have experienced the problems. Yeah, we'll leave it there for this series of Shelter 2. First attempt, going to make a note here. Not a huge success. <laughs> the note is, we've learnt a lot. We've figured stuff out. And next time we would do probably things a bit differently. Still, gonna, I'm going to come back to this. The Sheltered 1 did have improvements as it progressed on and certainly we've went <laughs> did a lot better on future series so next time we come back to this hopefully in a bit more of a complete state and with better knowledge under our belt thanks for the suggestions and comments by, by all means keep them coming in they're uh, all still a learning game for a lot of people so yeah we'll call it time on the series but we're not calling it time for the game just yet we'll attempt it again but hopefully with a bit of success in the future. Hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.